Imanol Yeregui es una persona que es de mi misma generación, realmente es uno de mis mejores amigos. Ay, ahí, se, ahí se agarra. Sí, de aquí se agarra, pero ¿qué? Sports are really important in the Basque country. We have our own sports, like lifting rocks and the pelota, like throwing another kind of rock against the wall. <laughs> Roca Puta, it's the best big wave spot we have in the Basque country. Ni Manuel Jerey Nais, eh, Sumaya Ra, esta Ogeta Irurte Ascat, local a Nais Roca Putan, va a un día de gratitud, esta baita de Ola Garrota Nivit de Nais. Y Manuel Jerey es una persona que, bueno, que es de mi misma generación y empezamos a viajar juntos desde, desde muy pequeños. Y bueno, al final hicimos mucha amistad, ¿no? eh, realmente es uno de mis mejores amigos. Él también ha tenido la suerte de vivir en, en Zumaya y vivir a cinco minutos de, de la mejor ola de, del País Vasco. ¿no? Bai, baina lehenengo bat, eskubiagin. Horrela, gero, bizkatola egin, eta ja, tenso da honian, bestia sartzen da. Ai, ai, se, ai, se agarra. Si, de aquí se agarra, pero qué? Ya está, ahí no se va a soltar. A Nacho, joe, chiquita ti que es autoed, esta suerte a Ukieva o la co laguna un bate sautia, esta visita a Nice, esta es surfa y samba, o ser gausada la va a ver y tú, esta laguna un bate sautia, es surfa que manditen gausa ver si en el agua de Sanda. Sports are really important in the Basque country. I think they are part of the culture. We have our own sports, like lifting rocks and the pelota, like throwing another kind of rock against the wall. Wow, it's not that bad, eh? Joder, me cago en la puta. Tenemos la mano ya reventada, cabrón. Joder. Es tradición. Toda la vida ha habido aquí eso. El deporte siempre ha estado muy ligado con el entorno aquí vasco, con la cultura vasca. Hay frontones, se juega pelota a mano, se juega pala, se juega remonte, se juega cesta punta. No soy de agua, yo soy del monte. Hola, Neko. No podía ya. Qué bueno, tío. Partida. Deporte, tío. Además. Yes. ¡Ay! <laughs> we are here in Biarritz and we're going to meet Clovis right now, Mikel's friend. He's going to tell us the story of the town here. American producer was coming for Hemingway movie, uh, Sun Also Rises, in the mid-50s, to shoot here and all, all around the Basque Country to Pamplona eventually. And uh, they get the production set here in Côte de Basque, and he saw the waves, and he wasn't a surfer himself, but he thought, wow, waves look cool. It's like Hollywood minus all the people. So he got boards um, shipped in the, in the container of the production, and then eventually started surfing, didn't really manage to surf. And the funny story is, so he lost the board in the rocks here, because he's at high tide. So he left it with the kids, and the kids fixed it and eventually uh, surfed it for the rest of the year while he came back the next year. That's sick. That's sick. And then by then they all like were hooked on surfing and started surfing. Oh, started. Yeah. So that's the accident, no? Accidental. Happy, happy accident. Yeah? Happy accident, yeah. <laughs> sick. 
Here we are in Donosti, uh, San Sebastian. We're gonna meet Marcos and talk about my relationship with Pucas from the beginnings and the Black Stripes. I remember when I went to Hawaii, it was super difficult to resalt there. He resalted double, like Nacho and like the guy of the rayas. Había hecho eso, las pintadas de Medina, había hecho las de tal, bueno, intentando buscar un poco la diferenciación, ¿sabes? Siempre quería, tenía ganas de que alguien fuera un poco icónico, porque es súper complicado. Venir de donde vienes y ser alguien, hostia, es complicado. O sea, te tiene que ver mucho, entonces, bueno, tener algo un poco diferente era lo que había que conseguir y al final, joder. And the beginning was like super, <laughs> super crazy because everyone was like talking about, no? It's, it's that kind of things that you, you like it or you don't like it. Pues creo que es, no sé, la, 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 que lo hemos conseguido, no? <laughs> claro, claro. <laughs> this is, we have a close relation together with Nacho because I will never serve this kind of wave, so it's like a never-ending talking together about what he feels on the waves and and what are my thoughts about that. So. We are changing little, some little details. That's very lujo, eh, tío. See, no? And this one for turns. It's a bit of a love story, the way Pukas started. So my dad started doing surfboards with a bunch of friends, and then it was my mom who followed him. And then the younger brother of my mom, Miguel, he joined the fun. And in 1979, they, they founded Pukas. I, I really want to do two models for Puerto or something like that. So maybe start working now and get a couple of feedbacks. They somehow started the, the, the DNA of what Pucas is today, which is bringing international people to build surfboards and have a lot of fun. My uncle Miguel said it was like living in a black and white world and then all of a sudden opening the window and finding a lot of color. And then in 1979, they opened Pucas with a new shop in San Sebastian. It was a natural evolution to do a contest. And then after the years, those contests became professional contest. And that's when Pucas brought a lot of culture to the, to the Basque Country. And you can talk to Aritz and he will tell you when he was a kid, that was the first time that he realized that people were making a living out of surfing. Aritz Aramburu, it's been, and it's right now, an idol for me, you know? When I was a little kid, I used to see all his hits, trying to qualify for CT. I remember that I, I had to study for the exams and I was like, in the night looking at life to watch all his hits, you know. He has a crazy connection with ocean, you know. It's pretty funny because you always know that he's gonna get the bomb of the day, you know, and he knows that. We always wanted to be with the best surfers. It would naturally come together. They will try to get boards from us and we'll work so into helping those to achieve their best surfing. So it was the Acero brothers, it was obviously Ivona Matrián, Charit Saramburu and Ode Collazo. In the Basque country you have Vizcaya and Guipúzcoa, and everyone in Vizcaya started catching bigger waves in Meñacos. And for us, Rocaputa is the way that we start catching bigger waves. When Rocaputa is good, I think it's one of the best big waves. It's a shame that it happens a few times a year. Bakoitzak abere biotzeko latu bat, eta neretza ba Rocaputa hori da. Txikitatik ikusten ditun hasi hermuniain eta hauedan asurfeatzen, ze da eskui bat olatu handiak eroitze jana, eta kriston tu bat gaur duen, ba, bueno, guri guztatez aiguna tu bat handia da, eta hori bilatzen zailatzen da.
Sesi hori oso espeziala izan zen, oain dela urte batzuk eukik genuna nen roka putan. Eta lagunak horrela ikustia ere bai guztoa zure olatu favorituen ian, horren guztoa buiaka eta emozionau eta kiston eguna izan zen. Latxo! It's the best big wave spot we have in the Basque Country. In four years, we, we used to score two times, but um, Rocaputa, it's one of those special places, you know. Yeah, we were all sitting out there and I was talking with Inigo Indigoras. He's a shaper and he built a new board for Rocaputa and he told me, I'm riding a 610. And I was like, what? I'm riding an 86. Massive bump came, he was on the perfect spot to paddle that thing. He entered in the wave and he got the best barrel ever in Rocaputa. A massive bump, spray and all that thing, you know. All the, the guys in the water, we were clapping like, wow, that was the wave of the, of the lifetime in Rocaputa, you know. When did I first meet Nacho? I think in the water at, at uh, Rockaputa maybe. And instantaneously, as soon as I saw him take off on a wave and do his first bottom turn, I was like, wow, that guy's really a top, top surfer. I remember that the sea was giant and Nachete only wanted to take the most grand ones of the day. 